uh, close out this guy next to Travis. Uh, Chrissy's done a lot of uh, close out. I'm guessing probably. Randy has to go for lunch. Go to pick up the countdown at T minus nine for the range is green. and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. And we have had a failure. Grand lock sequencer.
All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and lift off. The final lift off of Atlanta. Shoulders of the State Center. The mark of the State Center. Atlanta. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlanta. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirmed staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Atlantis, two engine tile. That call from Capcom. Day, so in the event of contingency, your in-plane plus 230 on the eCal page. No com BIs when you're ready to copy. Okay, in-plane plus 230, go ahead. Press to ATO, 10.8. Press to MECO, 14.7. Because of the flight delay and launch time, Capcom Barry Wilmore reading up to pilot Doug Hurley the updated abort boundaries for Atlanta, which is flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's large fuel tank. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Atlanta's traveling 4,200 miles an hour, 50 